by and large, the number one reason that drives us to invest is the opportunity to try and grow our money. But this isn't a guarantee. If it was, everyone would be doing it, right? When we invest our money, we're taking on risk. Just how much risk varies from person to person, but anyone can suffer a sleepless night over their investments. The obvious reason you might spend a night tossing and turning is if you are worried about losing money. Maybe you invested too much in the wrong product, or you picked the wrong investing strategy and you're upset about it. But the opposite is true too. Making money on your investments can impact your emotional state as well. A trade that ends up going unexpectedly well could leave you feeling so happy to the point where you lose sight of your investing goal. You can get carried away and start making impulsive decisions to buy more. Or you can be upset about selling too early if you see the stock continue to rise after you sold it. As you can see, emotion, happy or sad or anything in between, can impact your investment decisions. So what can you do? The truth is, as with most things, experience can usually be the best thing to help even out your emotion. The more ups and downs you experience, the more you learn and hopefully don't make the same mistake again. But if you don't have that experience under your belt, you may consider getting your feet wet by starting out with small amounts and seeing how you react. Then gradually, you can increase the size of your traits. And at the same time, you can also learn how to manage your emotional responses. While you're accumulating this experience, there are a few things you can consider doing in the interim too. First, before you buy anything, consider how comfortable you are with the risk you're about to take on. Would you be okay losing the amount of money you're about to invest? What if it's only 20% or 50? This will help you determine how much risk you can take on. And it can also help you pick the investing strategy and products that are best for you. Second, consider an exit strategy. This means planning how and when you will sell your investments down the line. Taking some time on the front end will help prevent you from making knee-jerk decisions in response to a change in the market later on. And finally, think about a safety net. If your investment suddenly dropped a large amount, or if you simply needed access to money, would you have anything to fall back on? Having a contingency fund may help ease your mind and keep your emotions in check if things suddenly change. Investing can be an exciting journey for anyone, no matter their level of experience. And when our hard earned money is on the line, it can be easy to let our emotions get the best of us and make a possibly bad situation even worse. This is why it's important to do what we can to be as objective and level-headed as possible when making investment decisions.